Hello! Welcome to my channel, Gourmand Groupie! I am Alexis, and I am super elated to be back with another Latapa fragrance review. Today we are going to be talking about Kamra. It's been receiving a ton of hype, so I'm super excited to speak to you guys about it. Part of the reason why it's receiving some hype is because it may be a potential dupe for um, Angel Share by Killian. So I'm going to give you a fair warning now if you're hoping for the majority of this video to be Angel Share versus Kamra, it's not going to be that. For the most part, I'm going to be focusing on this fragrance on its own because it's phenomenal. Um, I will say if you're hoping for like a boozy fragrance because I know um, Angel Share is a little bit more boozy, you may be disappointed by Kamra. But aside from that this is a good fragrance so I'm gonna be speaking on it as its own thing as its own product so let's start off with the packaging you guys this is beautiful I really like this the bottom looks like wood but it's like a higher quality I want to say like plastic or something um, it has this little holograph on the back someone said on one of my previous videos that this is to confirm authenticity so if you guys have a box and you want to confirm if you have an authentic product now this presentation is beautiful i really do appreciate that let's open this bad boy up <laughs> so you guys i've already used this fragrance a couple times so you'll see you know my little breezy fingerprints i put on my perfume after moisturizing so it just is what it is but you know if you can look past that look at how beautiful this presentation is let's see if i can get this out <laughs> beautiful okay i absolutely absolutely love this presentation um and this bottle too now i actually prefer this bottle over um angel share by killian okay i like that it's a little bit more gaudy but that's just me okay so before i get more into this juice for you guys i am gonna go ahead and read off the notes the base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, myrrh, benzoin, akigala wood, and amber wood. Quick note about akigala wood, my apologies if I'm mispronouncing it. I did some research and I've seen two different definitions. One of the definitions is it's a synthetic molecule that's derived from patchouli but doesn't, doesn't necessarily smell like patchouli. Um, it's supposed to smell more like agar wood. And then I've also seen that it's a molecule that's reminiscent of patchouli also with woody and spicy notes reminiscent of agar wood so I've seen two different definitions kind of similar but not exactly the same I do plan on doing some research on that so anyways the middle notes are dates praline tuberose and mahonia and the top notes are cinnamon nutmeg and bergamot okay now let me tell you this is a pretty strong perfume Oh my gosh <laughs> wait who is calling me listen I have not received calls all day and then as soon as I start recording you know <laughs> that's when the calls start so anyways this juice is pretty powerful the sillage is very strong I am a certified over sprayer so the fact that I'm only spraying about three to five times on my skin says a lot if I'm not worried about choking people out I'll just do one two three four and then do a little around my collar on my um, scarf okay um, this is not a fragrance you have to over spray on my skin I get about five to six hours of it truly projecting of the sillage giving what it's supposed to give before it starts to become a skin scent so I really do appreciate that longevity now keep in mind this also includes you know me doing my routine the lotion sometimes the oil first and then spraying it on now on clothes it's gonna stay there at least for 48 hours if you spray enough I smelled a scarf that I sprayed this on before putting it on the laundry and I was still getting whiffs of it after it had already been about two to three days so this is definitely a decent fragrance when it comes to sillage and when it comes to longevity okay now I do have a random business card I have no idea what I did with my tester strips but I do have a, um, a card here so I can speak to you guys from a fresh perspective as well as um, based on my experience from wearing this a couple of times so before I actually saw the notes on Fragrantica, when I first sprayed this, I was like, this reminds me of plums or maybe even like prunes and not in a bad way. 
<laughs> I used to love prunes, so when I say that, it's not in a bad way. And when I looked up the notes, I realized it was the dates that I was picking up. Now, as I've been wearing this more, there's a second item <laughs> that it reminds me of. The filling of apple pie or like an apple crisp, okay? The dates combined with the praline also kind of reminds me of molasses. And the thing is, is if you make your apple pie or apple crisp like me, one of the ingredients is typically brown sugar. And if you don't know, brown sugar is sugar and molasses mixed together. So the date at first gave me kind of like a plum or prune and then as I started wearing it more it began it began excuse me to remind me of the filling of an apple pie the cinnamon and the nutmeg also come through heavy I would say for me the cinnamon comes through the heaviest now I have cinnamon essential oils that I can compare it to and it literally smells like a body oil I used to make that was really heavy with nutmeg and cinnamon and clove essential oil and even though clove isn't listed as one of the official notes I'm definitely picking up on that okay I'm also getting that tuberose and the tuberose combined with the date in the praline all are what give like that almost apple pie filling type of vibe the toasted oats on top of the apple crisp would be kind of comparable to the nuts that you would find in praline candy so I think that's where I'm getting the comparison from so on one hand it's like oh yeah I totally get like a dark fruit cinnamon nutmeg yes and then on the other hand it's like oh my god this smells like the filling of an apple pie now, if you're familiar with the scent of benzoin or myrrh, you can definitely detect that as well. I have some of those resins on their own, and they're really sweet. So a good amount of the sweetness is also coming from that benzoin and myrrh, not just the date and the cinnamon, okay? The vanilla and the tonka are also very delectable. You pick it up more after about two to three hours, but for the first hour or two, it's super heavy cinnamon, super heavy date, and you either smell like, you know, whatever dessert would be date and cinnamon and nutmeg, or you kind of smell like apple pie. It kind of just depends on your nose. Oh my god, this is so good. I really don't pick up too much on the florals, and I think it's because the tuberose blends with the date so well, it just kind of gives fruit filling, okay? So to me, this is a super gourmand scent. I really do enjoy it. It's not boozy though. I know Angel Share is known to be a little bit more of a boozy fragrance, hence why it looks like a booze container, and this is not that. So again, for those of you guys where you're looking for like an exact dupe, do not kind of hold your breath on getting those boozy notes. They are similar, but I would consider this more of like an inspired fragrance that built upon Angel Share and gave something that delivered a little bit better, okay? So that's pretty much my notes on this fragrance. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'm very happy with this. The more I wear it, the more I fall in love. And again, you guys, just look at this, okay? Um, one thing also I forgot to mention before I head out is I appreciate that I do not go nose blind to this. So this is a fragrance where I'm constantly catching whiffs. You know, it's not something where I spray it and then I only know other people can smell it if they give me a compliment. No, I'm spraying this throughout the day and I think this is part of the reason why I do not have to over spray it outside of just the performance. Um, this is one of the few fragrances where if I spray too much, I might get a little bit overwhelmed and I'm someone who can wear a beastly gourmand when it's like 110 degrees outside and I'm not exaggerating okay so just kind of keep that in mind um but aside from that that's how i feel about kamra latafa what do you think about it if you've tried it what are your questions what is your scent of the day for me it's a vanilla cake by manta layered with pink sugar by aqualina otherwise guys thank you so much for checking out this video subscribe 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 and i look forward to seeing you on the next one